So today I wanted to talk about a few things and we will see where it goes from there. I mentioned in a previous video that I work as a stage manager and I talked just about um, how interesting and fun it is to work on a bilingual play. Um, I mentioned that I would talk more about what I do as a stage manager and it can mean a lot of things. So maybe as I work on this show I'll do a series of videos talking about it. Um, so one of the things that I do as a stage manager, um, so take for instance, well we'll talk about two things, rehearsal reports and blocking. Uh, we've only had three rehearsals. The first two were spent sitting in a table and reading the script because for some of the actors that was actually the first time that they saw the entire script. They may have only seen a scene of it uh, during auditions and, you know, it's also great to hear all the different character voices out loud in one group. Uh, this is also important because we probably won't actually um, hear the entire script until a little later in the rehearsal process because during rehearsals you're only working on certain scenes each time or something. So, uh, the first two rehearsals, we were doing the script reading, and there's not much that I do as a stage manager except um, I'm really gauging how the group is, I'm really more so working as the director's assistant, whatever she may need during that time. Um, but I also, uh, for, depending on the theater you work on, you have to prepare rehearsal reports that you're going to send out every evening after rehearsal. In this report, you're just tracking information that's going to go to your production team. Sometimes they copy the cast on it. Um, I worked for one theater where uh, not only was the production team, which is the set designer, the lighting designer, um, the props manager, that's all production team. But not only were they included on the report, but then just the theater staff. Um, so this is like, say, the um, the administrator or the artistic director. These people may not necessarily be working on that particular show, but they are associated with the theater. So depending on the show, you may send this report to different people. And in the report, you know, you're tracking things like what time rehearsal began and what time it ended. You're tracking the actual schedule of rehearsal, you know, what you did, you know, from 5 to 6, 5 to 510 announcements were made. From 510 to 530, we read Act 1, Scene 2, or whatever. So the schedule is important. You're also tracking attendance. Um, you know, who showed up on time, who showed up late, whether it was excused or not, and who wasn't there. Um, you're also tracking any needs that arise through rehearsal. So, you know, if you hear the director at some point say, you know what, um, we're going to need um, a lamp for this scene. I'm tracking that uh, because eventually, you know, the the props master is going to read my report and see, okay, now I have to look for a lamp. And he'll know I need to speak with the director more to figure out what kind of lamp it is. Um, so you're tracking anything like that. Anytime you hear something like, oh, we're going to need this, whether it's for the actual show later on or for the rehearsals. Um, and tons of other stuff. I'm probably boring you. So that's what I do. Um, in tonight's rehearsal, it was more so about uh, blocking. And blocking is tracking any movement that happens in the show. Um, and it's so, depending, and this all depends on the type of show that you're working on. Um, but depending on the show, it can be, it can be so detailed. So what do I mean by blocking? We start from the very top of the script and, you know, say a character, what you see is, you know, a character walks on um, and they deliver their line. I, I don't know. The line could be anything. Say, um, um, what a beautiful morning. Yeah, say that. The character walks on stage with someone else there are two people and one character says what a beautiful morning and the other character says yes I agree that that's what the audience sees just those two things what a beautiful morning yes I agree now as a stage manager what I'm tracking um, is things like 
actor one enters from upstage right and crosses to center stage. Actor two enters from downstage left and crosses to center. Um, and I'm also noting, say, you know, actor two enters with backpack and water bottle. Um, and actor one enters with God knows what. Um, the point of me entering all these details is it's going to tell me if I know that in that moment the actor needs to have that backpack and the water bottle for when they're at center stage, having the blocking lets me know that before the show even starts, whoever's running the props or setting the props up, they need to make sure that the backpack and the water bottle is on that side of the stage. It can't be on that side because how's the actor going to grab it for their entrance? It's all technical but not technical. It's not German or uh, chemistry. Um, but it's very detailed oriented. And as an audience member, these are things you, you don't notice. It just flows seamlessly. Two actors walk on stage and they say their lines. But even before those two lines happen, I have all these blocking notes um, and that's just the beginning because that doesn't even take into account any cues that may happen. You know, I'm pretty sure that before those actors entered, um, there were a few lighting changes. There may have been um, some sound cues um, and if they're in a bigger theater, they probably have mics on so the mic would need to be unmuted for them to deliver their lines, um, who's to say if there was a scene change happening, like there's lots going on and blocking is just tracking where the actors go, where they're coming from, where they go to and how they exit. It's very simple, but it's very detail oriented. And that is what I did tonight as a stage manager. Um, and I do this for every scene, for every actor. So I'm working on a show that's two and a half hours long and there are I think about 20 actors. So it took us two hours just to block the first two scenes. Is that, that I don't know if that's good or bad, we'll see later. But that is what I did tonight as a stage manager.